Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woke here, and I'm here today, I'm talking here to- What? I'm here to talk about Dragalia Lost. There's a brand new event going on. It's the Mega Man Chaos Protocol, I believe is the name of it. So this is going to be a quick event overview about basically what it is. And if you're really new to starting Dragalia Lost, I'll show you exactly how to unlock Mega Man. It ain't tough. Um, as you can also see, I've got him to 50 mana circles. I don't know if Mega Man's good enough for 50 mana circles, but I did it anyway because screw it, it's Mega Man. Um, I upgrade for love and then also combat strength, but that comes later, whatever. Anyway, let's go in here. The first thing you'll notice is that he's level one in all his, even though he's the 50 mana circles, he's still level one in all his skills, and that's because you have to play the event to actually get his skills upgraded. That's what I remember from the thing they told us. So you have to actually play the event. Um, so we got Metal Blade. Equips Mega Man with a special Metal Blade weapon, allowing him to shoot blades by tapping the screen. Metal Blade deals f flame damage to the enemy in a line and inflicts bleeding. While this uh, weapon is equipped, Mega Man's attack will consume a weapon gauge until it's exhausted. So though this th just straight up changes your attack animations then. <laughs> uh, this is actually very similar to another skill that was, I believe... I can't remember his name right now. It's He's a light unit that when you used it, it changed his focus strike, so he shot daggers. So it must be similar to that. Um, uh, it will be exhausted till the point the weapon is equip unequipped. While this skill is active, tapping on the icon again will switch Mega Man's weapon back to the Mega Buster. The skill is not affected by skill prep, skill haste, energy, or skill damage. Wait, what? Go back down. This skill is not affected by skill prep, skill haste, energy, and skill damage. Huh. So that means you can't... So obviously this means once it's activated, you can't boost it with skill damage? Uh, that's weird. Alright, Leaf Shield. Equips Mega Man, similar to um, Metal Blade, but with uh, leaves. Um, after a Leaf Shield has been created, um, tapping the screen again will shoot it at the direction of the enemies, or it will be shot automatically after enough time has passed. Leaf Shield deals flame damage to the surrounding enemies while the weapon is equipped. Mega Man's attacks will consume the weapon gauge until it is exhausted, at which point the weapon will be unequipped. While this skill is active, tapping the uh, icon again will switch Mega Man back to the Mega Buster and stuff. Okay. And then his co-op ability is the Overdrive Punisher and Gauge Acceleration fill. And because he's level 50, increases damage to the enemies in Overdrive state by 50% and a rate of uh, mode gauge decrease by 10%. That's uh, interesting. Uh, it's interesting for sure. It's unique to Mega Man as of now. Uh, LS Reactor 2, boost damage dealt to boss enemies in the Mega Man Chaos Protocol event by 30%. Obviously, so you have to use them for this. Um, speeds the rate of the mode gauge decreased by 35%. Stun resistance, okay. Uh, and all those other things are from the, um, the Dragon and the Worm Prince I currently have equipped. Okay, and I, these also these warm equips, equips. I just randomly put them on here just to have something. It's there's no real thought to it at the moment. So let's see. Let's get into the actual event. Okay, so it's actually I'll do this real quick because it's easy. If you're new to Dragalia Lost and you wanna you wanna see how to unlock him, it's actually pretty damn simple. Let's see. Let's see. We'll go into we'll go into Dragon Trials. Is there any on a buff? There is none on a buff, really. Uh, what about Imperial Onslaught? There is. Let's see, go here. Go here. Boop. Okay, it was taking a while for it to realize I did not have enough. Also, we get energy tanks special for this event. <laughs> I don't think there's anything different between them and stamina. Oh, wow. That's a lot. It's a decent amount at least. It's 100 for each? Are you kidding me? It's a crap ton. All right, let's see. Uh, this should be enough. If it's not, it's fine, whatever. Let's say clear. Mega Man. Perfect. And then next should be his friendship gauge. Your friendship with Mega Man has increased. Okay, let's repeat that one more time. Go here. And also, you can do this too with literally any mission. It's literally just play missions with Mega Man and you unlock him. Uh, and I believe with that. So with 20 missions there, 
The friendship with Mega Man has increased. You maximize your friendship with Mega Man. You can continue to use him on your team after the event. So I've just basically permanently unlocked Mega Man. That's how you unlock him. It's super easy. Um, yeah, literally what I just said right there. All right, let's look at the actual event. Okay. If you want to learn to dance, here. I'll be. So all the worm, all the worms, all the dragons have been imprisoned. Since this is Mega Man, we'll go here. Hmm. I don't think I'll be needing uh, really any help for this one at all. Oh, some great Mega Man music to start with. Oh, this event's so cool. I mean, the, the, the bummer is that he doesn't have any voices, and I don't know how much more the story is going to go. Okay, let's go here. What? Oh, because so he's already activated Metal Blades. Let me just quickly play, and we'll see how he goes. Oh, it's Eddie! Okay. Did I go back to normal? No, I'm not back to normal yet. Okay, this is... What the? Oh, did I accidentally? Yeah, I depleted it. All right. So yeah, as you can see here, he slides, he shoots like that. Let's see how Leaf Shield works. As soon as someone hits me, did someone hit me? No, oh, what? I guess it's not working because there's no enemies. Don't mind if I do. Unless you count trees. Trees are our enemy after all. Alright, there should be one right here. Okay, so there it is. Here's Leaf Shield. There we go. I have to tap Mega Man to activate the Leaf Shield. Oops. I wasted it. Okay, interesting. Oops. And I'm out of Leaf Shield. Really? Only the reuses of Leaf Shield? I guess because it might protect you from damage. That's the reason why there's not much. Now I'm gonna go rush. And he is dead. <laughs> well, that's to be expected, honestly. Oh, he shoots three. Interesting. And when you win, it's the, the boss over theme, I think, for Mega Man instead of actual voice. Yeah, and all Mega Man noises, too. I want to check out the worm prints too at some point. I think they should be in the shop. I hope. Uh, let's get a treasure trade. So we got here. We have Bubble and Woodman with their own uh, special worm print right here. What does this do? Uh, gauge acceleration bonus against brainwashed Zordiac and HP seventy percent equals strength HP percent. Air and Crash Man. Flurry strength 13%, max 20%, light resistance 5%, and he's there for Jupiter. Uh, we got metal and quick man, HP 70%, equal critical damage 15%, striker strength 4%, max 6%, and they're helpful against Mercury. And we got flash and heat man, uh, skill haste, striking haste. Hmm, wait, striking haste? Increase skill gauge, fill rate by 8% when the user's four strikes connect. Hmm. I think I, someone has to have this by now. There has to be someone with four strikes, and I'm just not remembering it, but not bad. Uh, ooh, you get some backstory for him, too, when you go here. Mega friends. Skill damage, 20%. Wow. Four strike damage. Wow. This is all right. At least to me, I think. Um, as someone who has a very, like, shaky grasp on what makes a good print, I would say, um, assuming once you unbind it, it's 40% and 50% strike damage. And then bonus against Wily, that's uh, fantastic. Oh my god! You can have little eddies? That's amazing! Oh, uh, energy tank, oh my god! Look at him! He's drinking! Perfect. I'm gonna need that. And of course, these are the weapons you get for, um, um, that lets everyone basically become Mega Man with a charge shot when you get it. Ooh, and amplifying crystals. Shop's pretty good. From what I can see. Ooh, and then starting from 12-1, we get some more. Not bad. Even the currency is down to what uh, is in Mega Man. So let's see, we got some endeavors done. Oh, there's a worm print right there. Uh, let me see. Come on, show me the roll. Sit oh, come on. It's going to make me actually go into here and see what it is. Okay, let's see. Uh, event perks. Really? None? Should be all the way at the bottom then. 
because it's unbinded. Uh, let's see. Where are you? I've lost sight of it. There it is. Roll on. Recover potency. Okay. Nice young lady comes to the inn. Oh, I didn't even start to read it. It's fine. You can read it on your own. So yeah, this seems to be the Mega Man event. It's so far. It's like literally just fight these dragons. And let me tell you, these dragons are extremely easy to beat. Unbelievably easy to beat. So really, it should be no problem for anyone starting out to beat these guys. And hopefully we'll unlock some more story because I would definitely love to see more. But yeah, that's the Mega Man Chaos Protocol. Uh, it's a pretty simple event as far as I can see, you know. Uh, I and definitely would have wanted life. something a little I bit more like, um, my soul into hell let me go here. At least I have the Mega Man theme. I would have definitely wanted something a little bit more like with a story, like uh, Fire Emblem, but considering I'm getting a free Mega Man, I shouldn't really be talking. <laughs> I should just be happy I have Mega Man. Uh, it'll be interesting if they do more crossover characters like this. Actually, that's a good question. And now that we leave this off, if you want to get Mega Man, get there. Good luck grinding up this event. But how would you want your event characters to be like? Would you prefer something like Mega Man, where the event is pretty easy from the offset and there's no real issues? Or would you want something like Fire Emblem, where it was like a crazy event, like a brand new game mode was brought in and then a banner with three, five units were introduced and there was a lot more representation in Fire Emblem, but it was also way harder to get any of them. So that's the kind of question. And I think currently, I don't... I don't know, because I definitely feel like there should be more units with Mega Man, but we'll see how good Mega Man ends up being. Uh, I'll definitely be playing with him a little bit more, see how he is, and until next time, I hope you enjoy this event, and also happy Poison Thanksgiving. If you like this video, you should like it, and if you like me, you should subscribe to me. I don't always play Jigalia, but when I do, it's pretty good. You should also check out my other stuff. They're pretty good, too. Business Slime. All right, over and out. Goodbye, everyone. Have a nice day.